probably doesn't feel like it for you, but I have not filmed in a long time. Um, but I do have some exciting news for this little video, uh, if it weren't evidenced by the title. Um, I'm moving. I have moved, actually. I'm in a totally new area, and I'm starting my first big girl job as a teacher. And uh, yeah, right now I'm just kind of unpacking the house, and oh my goodness, I almost forgot. For those of you who love my darling Persephone over yonder, we have a new addition to the family. Come here, baby. This is Sterling. Say hi, baby. He's not much of a cuddler like Persephone is, but he's a very sweetheart. And uh, yeah, he just really likes to play and annoying his big sister. So <laughs> um, yeah, so I was just feeling like kind of walking you guys through what um, my home office is gonna look like. It's gonna take about a week. Um, right now it's Wednesday and most of my furniture isn't gonna, oh, all of my furniture won't be here until um, I think next Friday so I'll probably just be filming this in chunks and kind of showing you the little pieces parts of me organizing stuff and putting things together um, and if you like this content leave a like below so that I know and I can keep making it so uh, without further ado I'm gonna start unpacking some boxes these are all of my special development books this is a large collection of paper um, which I'm actually going to start reorganizing into a new one of these little tub things. And I'm going to have just a bunch of stuff from when I tutored last summer. You know, Play-Doh, extra pens, bingo markers, um, <laughs> spinners, tape, pretty much anything you could possibly imagine. Letters, dye, flashcards, this stuff. Just a lot of odds and ends, but I think I'm going to take this one with the big containers and take that to my classroom, and then I'm going to keep the, um, I have like a taller one with black drawers that I'm probably going to put um, just my paper in and like use to organize some of my more flat craft supplies, um, but yeah, so I'll probably just start putting that together. <laughs> Okay, so I got the thing made, and I think I'm just gonna organize all the paper in it, and then I have some boxes to unpack downstairs before my boyfriend gets home from work. Um, but yeah, I will film another portion of this probably on another day when I get another piece of furniture. I have a bookshelf coming, I have um, a desk that I need to put together, and a chair as well. So I will film that as they come along, but this is our first project for today, and the next time you see me after this little clip of me organizing my paper, will probably be in a different outfit, just so you know.
Howdy y'all, it is day two, though it's technically like day five of me trying to put together my office. Um, yeah, I finally had another piece of the puzzle come in today, it's Monday, um, and I have the desk chair that came in, so I'm going to assemble that. I'm supposed to be having the bookshelf come in on Wednesday and the desk coming in on Friday. Now, where this gets interesting and just something funny I kind of wanted to toss out there, when I first moved here um, and I ordered all these things on Amazon like the first or second day I was here, and... <laughs> I guess I forgot to put the apartment number in there, so I got a couple of things last week that were sent back because they showed up at the building and didn't know where to put the package. Um, so that was moderately frustrating, but I'm sitting here thinking, okay, well maybe I'll just go in and change the shipping address because half the things hadn't shipped yet, but Amazon doesn't let you do that. So I actually just put a sign on my front door that says packages for me come here. Um, and I actually ran into the U UPS guy while I was um, picking up the chair from outside. And he's like, you have anything else coming without uh, an apartment number on it? And I was like, yes, I'm sorry. And I like, I even wrote on the message that I was like, sorry for any inconvenience. Um, but yeah, I feel like a total jackknot right now. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna put together the chair today and I'm gonna pop it upstairs. Um, and then yeah, I guess we have the bookshelf and the desk to look forward to the rest of the week. Then I'll probably do a little speed through of me putting the office together and hopefully it should be the end of this video. But um, yeah, I guess we'll just see how it goes. So I just spent 10 minutes uh, assembling this chair on what I thought was a hyperlapse on my phone. Turns out someone called me in the middle of the recording and I recorded none of it. So anyway, here's what the chair looks like. Um, it was assembled pretty easy. I think I got it for like maybe 25 bucks on Amazon, but it came with the legs and the chair part separate and all I had to do was, imp uh, I guess, screw in those screws. Um, I think it came at a pretty decent price. It took a couple extra days. I didn't totally get it on Prime. I need to start filming the right way, yikes. Um, but yeah, um, and the kitty seemed to enjoy it. I really wanted to get something that was gonna be, um, I guess, less easy for the cats to scratch upon, um, especially for the little one who still hasn't totally learned that he's not supposed to scratch yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's a good size, it's a good color, uh, pretty basic. Um, I think it'll turn out pretty good, so. Yeah, I guess I will see y'all on uh, Wednesday when I put together my bookshelf. My desk came several days early, yay! So now it is Tuesday and I have begun putting together my little L-shaped desk. Ooh. And apparently I'm not doing a very good job of it. Um, I didn't really want to carry the box upstairs so I'm actually putting it together like in semi substantially sized pieces like since it's an L shape I'm thinking I'll do the long side the short side and then I have the wood pieces kind of back there behind the couch um, so I'm probably gonna take those upstairs and then put all the finishing touches together upstairs so yeah here's me assembling my desk let me just say this is way easier than half the other things I've ever ordered off the internet because all of the screws are individually baggied and labeled which almost never happens so I'm like super excited about that Hello friends! I filmed another video earlier today, so you might see me in the same outfit a little later. I think I just put my hair up though. Unrelated, um, it is now Tuesday because a lot of stuff happened with my bookshelf. Long story short, it didn't come when it said it was going to come. And then I emailed the shipper because they didn't actually have the tracking information on Amazon. And they said, 
oh, it looks like it's lost in the mail. Here's a refund. So I got a refund and had to order a new set on that day. I think that was last Wednesday or Thursday that that happened. Um, and then this new shelf, which is a little bit different and a little bit cheaper, um, didn't come in until literally two minutes ago. And it is um, 6 p.m. So, but thankfully I hadn't changed out of my clothes yet, so I can, you know, at least look pretty on the camera. So yeah, we're gonna pop this thing together. I'm gonna take a shower and then I will be giving you all the tour tomorrow. So let's get into the bookshop. All right, everyone, it's finally happening. It is finally done after too many weeks. This is the, not quite the final form, but the, I guess, original form, as I do still have some things planned to get a little bit later, but I'll just kind of give you a quick tour. Hi, honey. I know, I know. <laughs> Here, I'll pick you up and you can come with me. Yeah gonna come with me today whoop all right so over here we've got all my craft supplies as well as um, some pretty basic um, things like I have a cinch machine like a binding machine um, this is my I guess box of all the important stuff <laughs> I guess you could call it like my, copies of my lease uh, all that fun stuff <laughs> um, router whatever um, some more uh, supplies in that black thing, the very first thing I put together. Uh, paper cutter on the side, I have my toolkit behind there. Just some pictures, I haven't put anything on the bulletin board yet. I'm sure I'll get there, I just haven't gotten there yet. Um, I have my futon in here so that if I actually have any guests, I can also use this as a guest room. That was super important to us because we kind of live far away from both of our family and friends. Um, the bookshelf, which my boyfriend is bringing some of his books in to kind of add to the collection. I have my complete Harry Potter collection here. It looks lovely and uh, makes me very happy actually. And these are book ends that my boyfriend got me for I think my first birthday that we were together. Um, and they're like cups basically. Um, I believe this one has mints in it right now. Yeah, kind of. Um, but I thought the owls were kind of fitting. It matched this little um, picture frame on top, some of my nicer or older books that I didn't really want getting all over the place, my Cricut, um, my complete collection of Shakespeare, the Divergent series, the Hunger Games series, and then I have my Laminator Google Mini in the back there, and my sewing machine down here on the bottom. I also have hidden half of a cat bed right here just for the babes to kind of take their naps as I'm sure you just saw my darling Sterling take a, make an appearance. Here we have just a pink little chair, kind of like a reading nook situation, and I've got my nice little um, letter board up here with some quotes about reading that I really liked. A little workout area. I did check to make sure nothing would hit the wall um, and some weights, you know. This is kind of our oddball room right now. Uh, the litter boxes are actually inside the closet. I just closed the doors real fast to do this little filming excursion. That's what that is down there is the litter mat. And then, of course, we have my computer. Um, I have my um, organizer up here that I normally put things on. I just hung it, so I still need to kind of go in and fix it. My uh, darling Persephone likes to lay here, so I laid a little blanket there. Um, she just likes having a lot of space, but I'm really excited about having this space to do my crafting and just kind of having an actual table for it. I have a little side table slash stool under here so I can pull it out if I need more seating. Uh, but right now it's just kind of housing my printer, another cat bed, some basic office supplies kind of hiding out over here, second monitor, my laptop, photos, um, pen holder, all the basics. Um, there we go. Who's a good boy? <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the gist of the office. It's finally done. It took long enough for sure, um, but I actually think it turned out really great. So yeah, uh, so come in next week. I'm still going to be doing a little bit for uh, my classroom in the upcoming weeks, and soon enough I'm sure I'll get back to doing some artsy crafty fun. Um, I do have some fun things planned with perler bees and um, so some ohuhu markers. Ohuhu, I'm not actually certain how to pronounce that, but yeah, if you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another video. See you then. Bye!